dear friends so today i'm going to tell you a story from the goldilocks and the other fairy tales the story's name is goldilocks and three bears once upon a time there was a lovely little cottage that sat right in the middle of the woods this little cottage there was a little family of friendly bears there was big papa bear who could be a little grumpy at times medium sized mama bear who was just as a mother should be and teeny weeny baby bear who like to play all day one fine day they all stormed down to the kitchen for the usual breakfast of delicious homemade porridge papa bear ate his porridge out of a big bowl mama bear ate her porridge out of a medium sized bowl while teeny weeny baby bear had his very own teeny weeny bowl papa bear scooped up a large spoonful of porridge and popped it straight to his mouth ouch he cried that's too hot mama bear tasted hers ooh i suppose it is a bit hot she agreed it will burn my mouth cried teeny weeny baby bear after tasting his i've got a good idea said mama bear why don't we go for a walk in the woods by the time we get back our porridge will be cool oh all right said papa bear a bit grumpily he really would have liked to go back to bed until his porridge cooled down eepee ya teeny weeny baby bear i can show you how fast i can run so shutting the door behind them three little bears went for a walk in the woods not long after they had gone a little girl called goldilocks who was out walking in the woods stumbled across the little cottage where the three little bears lived she thought it was so lovely that she wanted to look inside she carefully opened the door and shut it quietly behind her The first thing she noticed was three bowls of porridge on the kitchen table. They look really yummy, she thought. I'm so hungry. I'm sure no one would mind if I ate just a little. First, she tried a spoonful of porridge from the big bowl, but that was too salty. Next, she tried a spoonful of porridge from the medium-sized bowl. but it was too sweet finally she tried a spoonful of porridge from the teeny weeny bowl that was just right goldilocks was so hungry she ate every last bit she felt tired after eating so much and decided to sit down for a while first she tried to sit in a big chair but it was too big her feet didn't even touch the ground next she tried the medium sized chair that was a little better but she could only reach the ground with her toes finally she sat on the teeny weeny chair that was to stride but she was far too big on the teeny weeny chair and when she sat down on it she broke it i wonder if there are any bats upstairs she thought i'm sure no one would mind if i lay down for a while She went upstairs and saw three beds. First, she tried a big floppy bed. This bed is too far soft, she thought. The next bed was a very neat medium-sized bed. This bed is too far hard, she thought. Finally, she laid on the teeny weeny bed. This bed is just right, thought Goldilocks and was soon fast asleep. When the three bears returned from their walk, they were very hungry and looking forward to eat their porridge. The first thing that they saw were the spoons lying in the porridge bowls. "Who's been eating my porridge?" cried Papa Bear in a big grumpy voice. "Who had been eating my porridge?" cried Mama Bear in a medium-sized voice. "Who has been eating my porridge?" 
Curly to knob, cry teeny weeny baby bear with teeny weeny voice. Papa Bear was so grumpy that he decided to sit down for a while, but noticed that the cushion on his chair was messed up. Who's been sitting on my chair? He cried in his big grumpy voice. Who's been sitting in my chair? cried Mama Bear in a medium sized voice, noticing that her cushion was messed up too. And who's been sitting in my chair? And it's all broken, yet teeny weeny baby bear and his teeny weeny voice. This is making me really grumpy, said Papa Bear in his big grumpy voice. I'm going to bed. The other bears agreed and followed him upstairs. When they got there, they saw their beds had been messed up too. Who's been sleeping in my bed? cried Papa Bear in his big grumpy voice. Who's been sleeping in my bed? cried Mama Bear in a medium sized voice. And who's been sleeping in my bed? And is still sleeping in my bed? cried Teeny Weeny Baby Bear in his teeny weeny voice. After all this shouting, Goldilocks. When she saw the three bears looking angrily down at her, she leaped out of bed and ran down the stairs, out of the door and into the woods as fast as she could. And the three bears were very pleased that they never saw her ever again. The end. I hope you like the story and please like and subscribe to our channel to watch new videos every day. Goodbye.